What's poppin'? This your boy Tez, the logistics rookie. Back with a short video today. And this video right here is for anybody, and especially those who are interested in entering the logistics industry and getting their feet wet. But I just want to inform y'all this. Pickup trucks are in high demand. High demand. How I know that? Well, let's first touch on what I be going through every day when I haul these loads <clears throat> for the app that I'm dealing with. So the app that I work with to be able to get loads and get work for my van is an app called Dispatch. Basically, it's like the Uber, but instead of picking up people, you're just going around picking up different freight. And mainly, most of the time, you're going to be dealing with HVAC companies, tire shops, you know, carpet warehouses, metal sheet sh shops, car dealerships. You're going to be dealing with all types of customers. And pretty much this app requires you to have either a pickup truck a cargo van or a mid-sized vehicle. However, I just realized something yesterday. 85% of the loads that I take requires a pickup truck. Fortunately, I'm able to get away with it because I got enough space in my van to where they, you know, they can squeeze in those heavy big loads that y'all be seeing me pull. But 85% of the time, the loads that y'all see me pulling, they are required, requires a pickup truck. And like I said, I started in this industry as a dispatcher. And I ran across many guys who was involved in hot shot trucking. And if you know about hot shot trucking, you know that many of those guys have pickup trucks with a trailer attached to it and it just let me know man that pickup trucks are in high demand in the logistics industry especially for local runs we not even talking about over the run we i, I don't know nothing about that we not even discussing that but i'm just telling you what i see on a daily basis and what i studied and observed and i've come come to this analysis pickup trucks are in high demand so if you guys got a pickup truck you're trying to figure out how to make some extra money and you using that pickup truck for personal reasons man put two and two together man to try to figure out how to turn that liability into a partial asset and i say a partial asset because vehicles are a liability regardless after a few years they always end up no good you have to keep up maintenance on them and they depreciate as soon as you pull them off the lot they will always be liabilities but you can turn them into partial access especially if you got a pickup truck box truck or a cargo van with cars you're not gonna get too far yes there are people who do uber and lyft full time but you're going to have to kill yourself just to get that money. You're going to have to pull about 50, 60 hours a week. you got to kill yourself just to get that little bit of money. And even then, how far would that little money get you? But with a pickup truck, that's so much work out there for you guys. I just went to the grocery store. I seen a guy in the back. They had a fort lift they were putting something in his, in, into his pickup truck and and the best thing about pickup trucks when you are hauling loads nine times out of ten it doesn't matter how heavy or how long it is you can you can make it work with a pickup truck for an example the other day i picked up a load that required a pickup truck but the load was a big i don't know exactly what it was but it was so big, it was about 10, 12 feet wide, 12 feet long. I think it was about 10 feet at least. My truck, my cargo space is four by four. So of course it wouldn't fit. 
I had to let this seat down right here. Had to let this all the way down. Had to pull the seat all the way up to the dashboard just to get the thing to fit. And even then, it hit my windshield. It messed up my glove department. It messed up my glove box right here. Scratched all this up in the front because it wouldn't fit. But if you got a pickup truck, it can stick out. You can let the back down. It can stick out. You just got to tie it up in the back. Or you can lay it sideways. It can stick up out the top. You can make it work with a pickup truck. But with this little cargo van, see, cargo vans, they are mainly for hauling boxes, small to medium-sized boxes. And my cargo van in particular, you can only haul about 20, 30 boxes. That's the max, depending on the size. But if you got a pickup truck, of course, you can't haul that many boxes in a pickup truck, but you can haul a lot of this stuff you guys see me pull. You can pull AC parts, you know, tires. My first load that I posted up were tires. You can haul a bunch of tires in the back. But <clears throat> you can make a lot of money with pickup trucks, man. I'm, I'm going to just tell you guys a bunch of apps that I know of. To where you can make money with pickup trucks. Of course, you got Dispatch. That is the app that I'm currently using. You got GoShare. GoShare is a big popular app that's on the rise. They require pickup trucks, cargo vans. And another one is called Ezer. E-Z-E-R. Go look it up. They require you to have a pickup truck or a cargo van. But man, from analyzing a lot of these local businesses, man... They looking for people with pickup trucks, bro. For real. Not saying you can't get work if you don't have a pickup truck. I just know they are in high demand. And another reason why I came to that analysis, for those of us in the logistics industry, we all know the only way you're going to really make some real money is to get off these apps, get off these load boards, and get dedicated routes, dedicated runs from local businesses. Period. That's the only way you're going to make some real money is by dedicated runs. I know everybody in the logistics industry, the trucking industries, whatever you want to call it, we like to do things the old school way. Cold calling shippers and handing them our business cards. But when I was dispatching for my granddad, I saw many of these shippers and many of these companies and many of these businesses they are just posting up stuff on Indeed. They'll post up on Indeed. I'm looking for a dedicated driver for my company. This the route, this the pay. Just apply. Send us your contact information. We'll hit you right back. So I did the same thing a few weeks ago as far as my cargo van. I tried to see who was all looking for dedicated drivers with their own cargo van. You know, dedicated, you know, drivers who got their own equipment, who got their own businesses. And local businesses who were looking to partner up with us. I went on Indeed three weeks in a row, including this week, to try to see exactly what these companies are looking for. I ran across three different types of companies. Guess what they were all looking for? Pickup trucks. Not cargo van, pickup trucks. First company I saw was an auto was an auto shop. Needed a full-time independent contractor person to partner with with their own pickup truck i saw a tire shop and i can't remember the other company but i know it was three different companies all looking for somebody with their own pickup trucks so that's another route you guys can take go on indeed to try to find your dedicated runs man because they these shippers and customers are posting them you know, all this old school cold calling and handing them your business card. The game is changing, man. Get hip to this technology. These guys are just posting stuff up on Indeed nowadays. And they doing the same thing if you got a cargo van or a pickup truck. So that's another way you can find some work with your pickup truck. But yeah, man, that's all I want to talk to you guys about today, man. Pickup trucks are in high demand. So number one, go to the dispatch app. Number two, go share app. Number three, Ezer, E-Z-E-R. And number four, just go on Indeed, 
find some dedicated routes of some local businesses out here who may be looking for people with a pickup truck. But there's a lot of work out there for you guys, man. Don't let that truck be a liability. Turn it into a partial exit. Let's go get this money. Y'all stay focused, stay blessed. Keep on grinding. 100.